Jesus is not a rogue prophet. He's not a lone ranger prophet spouting off at the hip. However, he is so focused, so intent, gazing so desperately upon the Father that his words and actions are so unfamiliar to people because they themselves are so far removed from focus upon God. Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. Jesus says in John chapter 5, verse 19, The Son can do nothing of His own accord, but only what He sees the Father doing. In other words, Jesus doesn't have a will that is separated from God's will. He doesn't have an agenda or a purpose or intentions that are apart from God's will. Jesus never said, You know, I had in mind to do what James and John wanted me to do and rain down thunder and wrath on a couple of guys, but God had in mind a different idea. No, Jesus never had a side hustle. He never had a side agenda. Jesus was completely dependent upon his Father. He could do nothing else but what his Father was doing, which means everything we see Jesus doing and saying is exactly what God the Father does and says. This is why Jesus will tell Thomas when Thomas asks, Show us the Father. Jesus says, If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So let me bring out a Trinitarian truth for us. Within the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, there is equality. All are equally God. But we also see a division of roles. And here we see that part of the role of the Son is to be submissive to the Father. The Father initiates and plans and sends and commissions, and the Son responds with obedience and receives whatever the Father has for him to do. But while the son is submissive, he's no less great because the son does exactly what the father does. The text says, for whatever the father does, that the son does likewise. So if the son can do exactly as the father, then the son must be as great as the father, as divine as the father. So Jesus is absolutely submissive to his father in his role, but also as great as the father in deity. And in such, Jesus perfectly reveals the Father to us. You want to know what the Father looks like? Look to Jesus. Today, please pray for Brian Reisner and his family, our missionaries in Romania. And also remember the Kapare Life Word broadcast heard in Tanzania.